Right now, the shuttle Discovery is just about eight miles outside of the Kennedy Space Center. In fact, we can go to a live picture now. You can see the shuttle coming in, descending on this uh, Discovery's 16th flight. It is the most used of the uh, space shuttles in the fleet. This is the second uh, shuttle flight of 1993. It was supposed to be the third, but because of two, uh, two failed launch attempts, uh, they had to flip-flop the schedule. Let's listen in for the last minute or so as the shuttle Discovery comes in to the Kennedy Space Center. Altitude 8,600 feet, descending at about 140 feet per second. Discovery is beginning to flare a little bit, taking some of the uh, steep angle out of the uh, angle of approach, beginning to induce drag and slow the vehicle as it approaches the runway. Range three miles, altitude 4,800 feet. Seeing final flare. Should see the landing gear coming down shortly. Main gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Standing by for drag chute deployment. It's deployed and the nose gears down. Discovery's crew returns with a bounty of new knowledge of the sun, our home planet, and its fragile atmosphere. Discovery rolling out on runway 33. Stop, Houston. Copy, we'll stop Discovery, and you got a bunch of smiling faces in the room here. That was a beautiful piece of flying, Ken. And uh, welcome home to the crew after a super mission. And thus, the second uh, mission of shuttle mission of 1993 comes to an end. Discovery brings to an end a nine-day mission. Uh, it was supposed to be a, an eight-day flight, but weather problems at the uh, Kennedy Space Center on Friday forced a one-day postponement, but scientists used that to their advantage to take more readings in this atmospheric and uh, solar study mission. Next mission coming up is the mission of Columbia. There will be an attempt to launch that uh, just a week from now, just a little bit over a week from now, about 10.30, 10.40 uh, in the morning, Eastern time, next Saturday morning. And of course, CNN will provide live coverage of